So I'm gonna fill that hole. You can see it's quite quite heavy. Um, just really snagging up here. Um, a lot of wee, wee small holes. Um, I plan on doing this all pretty quickly. So then we get half day. Um, again, some some wee bit heavier. Looks like a crowbar pulls up now there. Um, you can see some plastic works already done there. So you can see it looks very tidy. Um, now, I, I didn't do the plastic work, I'm just here just snagging up really for the painter. But you can see plastic work done here for change rooms, I think uh, it's going to be. Um, but uh, looks a very good job. So we don't, don't often see other plaster in the video fresh that I haven't done. But you can see there, guys, arch beads on. So they're a, like a, a plastic bead. Um, I do have a, there, there's a wee cut in here to show you this. Uh, there we go. So that there is a, that's an arch bead. And uh, it's all somewhat broken up so that it will bend, bend easier. Um, so quite a, quite a, a good thing. Um, still not easy to actually use, but better than sitting snipping up a normal bead and trying to manipulate it around. And also probably better than forming it all freehand, which I've had to do a good few times by this stage. As you can see, wall behind me. Um, don't need to go as far as just need to come sort of maybe over to here on the wall, but um, I'll maybe just wipe out the whole wall just to be safe. Um, but yeah, there's two, two sort of bigger holes here, you see. There's another one there. And the next of them too, I want to show you is what I'm going to do with them. Just going to mix up a bit of plaster and put what we call a wad in them. Um, it's a, it's cast and plaster I'm using, so it sets very fast. So it should get me away from all these wee filling in jobs quicker. Um, other if I make up skin, it could take two three hours just to set, where this stuff should be set solid in half an hour. Um, so you can see how I'm saying ten there, but gonna need ladders in, mix up a wee bowl, and I'll show you what I'm talking about with with a wad if I can keep my hands clean. Right, so I've got my plaster mixed now, so nice bit of thickness to it. And again, doesn't take a big pile here. And then I'm going to use the canvas, and basically I'm going to do. It's going to be hard to do this with two hands. I'm going to dip it in. I'll probably put it in the somewhat of squish in the ball, and then I'll feed it into the hole. So, trying to be neat and tidy here with one hand is going to be difficult, but don't need all that plaster in it, so I need to reduce some of that to squish it out. This is a completely different way than the normally sort of patch, but sort of is a weekend, and it's a good way out of these, and it will be very, very strong with sets. So, I'm trying to open it. Open it up now a wee bit guys as well, while putting pressure, squishing it to the wall, so it sets. Uh, but as you can see, that's it somewhat filled. Um, I need two hands here, I'm going to open it up, get it up high, so that it can all be filled right round. But the stuff will set. It'll be good to go over that there, probably about 10 minutes. So, again, I have another one to do up that side. But I'll tear this up and what I'll do is I will I've got hay fever here so my voice probably sounds a bit funny. But what I'll do is I'll tear the M2 up and I'll get them just just like what I did there, I'm doing the other one. And I'll get them all filled in and show you that just before I actually fill it all in. And then I'll probably show you the after clip. Um, again, this stuff. I'll be mostly using a busk, maybe a wee flexi child at the end, just to make sure everything's nice and smooth. Gonna do the second one here. And again, you could actually stuff a dry wad into it and plaster it over it. But this way, with the, the actual wad being soaked in plaster, will work out much stronger. 
Um, uh, just take as much out. So we'll work out a lot stronger this way. Um, other than just a dry one in. And again, you know, people people can use you can use other things, you know, paper, foam, spray foam, maybe expanding foam would be good. Um, just don't breathe it in. Um, but as you see, it's starting to fill up. That one sort of fell back on me, so I might put another wee one in. Bit of a, a smaller one. And these are just off cuts from my wee workshop. We should actually cut some nice cleaner ones, but I sort of use what I had lying about there. And there we go, it's starting to fill good now. But yeah, that's that's enough. Maybe another wee one at the top of that one. Um, again, you could let that set and you could let it set and then build up on the wads you've done. This stuff this stuff goes really, really like that would be solid. Very hard to break that with your hand. Um, so this is a good way to get out of big holes quickly. Oh, look at that, guys! I could, I could nearly, I could nearly finish this one straight off the bat. Now. Looks very messy, but I'm gonna come here now with the wee busk and clean, clean everything down, and maybe get these gloves off. So when I'm talking about a busk, this here's what I'm talking about, guys. Nice. This one's a really good one. Nice and flexible. But, um, Kind of going down the line here of, of cast, you know, kind of how you would make good on your cornice and stuff as well. Um, same, same idea, guys. And this is what I was talking about, about making good. And I mean, I don't want that stringy bit on the surface, so I'm just take it away. But as you see, that hole is nearly done, but for full strength, I'm going to let that set. And then I'll just... I'll go over it again with fresh plaster and then finish it. But this is more or less what I'll be using this. And then, like I say, I'll probably give it a wee wet and a wee flexi trial to actually finish off. And just make sure there's no camera sticking out the surface. But yeah, hard to do with one hand while you're recording, but it's taking off the access. I'm gonna give this all a proper clean down. Uh, and there's lots of wee screw holes here to be filled in. I'd have to remove some of them plugs just to make sure they're filled right. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. But that's that's the process. Um, that's how I'm gonna go about here, getting these ones. Again, I'll show you them when they're all finished really. Um, too, too difficult to have no tripod with me really. I might, I might do. Maybe I'll get a tripod to, to, to get this one of these two completely finished and then give you a wee close up of it. Again, something so simple um, of a way to do. There's, there's a million ways to patch and this is just another one of them ways that I can do it. And that's why I thought it'd be nice to show you that one. Right, so have we drop a gear mixed up here. And sometimes what you can do is you can actually just use in the middle where it's tighter and then by the time you get to the edge, it'll be tighter anyway. Um, but I'd probably use a good drop of this just for that patch alone, so I'll give it all a wee quick mix here. Then all I'm gonna do guys is you see the small tail and just put it in into the hole. Again, pretty awkward with one hand here. And that wall is absolute solid. The only tricky bit's going to be getting right up and under. We're nearly there.
So, it's an all full, guys. Uh, still plenty left. Very, very little. It goes a lot sometimes. But um, also got them wee holes all filled. Just gonna go over them quickly again, and then I'll start working my way, basically, from here, back to back, and out the door. But, the shoes here, I just, I'll just sort of rule this off the original wall quickly, and then if I need another wee bit, I'll fill it in. Again, just with the, the wee busk. You can get plastic ones and stuff too, um, which are, are just as good, but I like the stainless steel ones. Sometimes when you're doing these wee small things, you see all the wee bumps and all, you can see that grey bit, that's actually a high bit of paint. Um, but That one filled. I'm gonna give it an RV tiny bit and then busk it off. And then give it a couple of busks with a wee toss of brush and a wee tiny bit of water. That 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 moves. I'm gonna make, make make a mess of the place. And then that'll be me off that patch on the next big one. Going again here. Oh the other big one. Still starting to pull in a wee bit now. You can always put it on quite proud like that guys and then bust it off. So try and bust it both ways and then you get a you know you follow both both angles of the wall end. That's coming in pretty keen. I'm happy with that guys, and then we'll lose, I'll just really give it a, a wee, just give it a wee um, toss of brush up and trial it in basically. Clean all the angles down. This one works. Actually paint on but um, yeah, so just clean the angles, just as if you were a patch and around the edges, and I'm just going to give it a we we keep the clean off and this is looking very very good there um, no more hole and that's that's what we're after so maybe just one more wee quick polish and just check down any of these wee screw holes and it's done again guys not, not a not a massive massive job but you know if you're getting the paint in they, they might not want to fill all these wee holes um, so here I am, getting a, a, wee, a wee handy enough job. Footry, not a lot of plasters want to do these jobs. Um, so make make them in handy for you if you're doing it yourself. And I'll show the plaster I'm using at the end here as well. Oh, that's it sorted guys. The hole all fell in right up underneath as far as I can get. Um, and again, you take a step back. You know, you can be brown, but to see that's the original, that's the original plaster. Uh, yeah, a couple of wee touch-ups over here. Nothing, you know, nothing very, very exciting, but it's all stuff. You just paint it over it, you know. You just paint it over that there, guys. What would it look like, you know? Just paint it over them holes. Wouldn't look very good. And again, I've seen people fill them with pie filler and stuff, but this stuff, it's much better. You can finish it as you go, so you don't have to come back to sand. And um, so, sort of finished on that end. Gonna, gonna sort of keep moving back now. Um, and then, um, so I, I leave a bit of dusting up to do after me. Not too much. Dust sheets down, so should save a lot of cleaning. Just uh, a couple more to go here. Probably, probably take me longer just to clean up than to do this last two, three patches. But um, just uh, another wee. Quick look guys, all in, and um, feels, feels nice and flush to the touch, 
Uh, right. I actually spent more time on these ones than uh, all the big ones because there's like a wee lip of paint and I've been sort of scraping it back here and there. It took me way longer than I thought. I thought I would probably finish uh, at least it's to be wild back, but um, just down here with this room. Kind of big room, but where I watered out we wee hole there and the wee hole over here. So they're yeah, the last. Last wee couple to just tidy on up. And it's quite solid. So a wee tiny hole here. Maybe we put a something there as well. Um, just basically if you can feel up your hands, better to give it a wee, a wee light skin. But had a bit of fun on that corner there. Had to cut off the old dry line bead. That's that's the other reason why this is so hard to patch because the paper is just doing my head and ha having to stop and cut bits out. But yeah, so that was the the, the bead there. Dry line bead, I had to snip it away and touch that up. So that's all just a, a freehand corner really. It's a lot sharper than the actual bead itself. But you tend to get that with, with a freehand corner because it's literally two nothing. And again, there's that patch. Absolutely flush, so should paint lovely. And the other good thing about this stuff is it'll probably be bone dry tomorrow, and um, or there thereabouts, and they will be able to paint. So that was that was the, the other reason for using this stuff. But I'll show you that very in the next clip here. This is the plaster we're going to be using, cast and plaster plus fine cast. So it does set pretty quick. Um, as you can see, wee bits of waste. Um, just bring them, bring them back and throw them in the bin. But yeah, 